This guide will cover how to attach your controls from the governance section of Simple Risk to the mitigations of your risks. This guide assumes you have already added the frameworks and controls you would like to use in your mitigations to the system. If you have not already done this, you can find a link to a guide for doing so in the text below. To begin adding a control to a risk already defined in the system, we will need to take the following steps. First, navigate to the Risk Management menu at the top, followed by the Plan Mitigations menu on the left. Now in the list, find the risk you wish to add a control to and click the No in the Mitigation Plan column in that risk's row. If your risk already had a mitigation plan, you may use the search function at the top right and enter the ID of that risk and click the Mitigation tab from the Risk Details page to update the mitigation. If you do not know the ID of the risk, you may want to utilize the Dynamic Risk Report in the Reporting section to find the risk ID. On the Mitigation Submission page, you will need to select the control you wish to apply from the drop-down at the bottom of the left column of fields. Once selected, the control will be displayed on the page and saved with the mitigation. Any mitigation percent associated with the control will be applied to the inherent risk as long as a higher mitigation percent has not already been set in the Mitigation Percent field of the mitigation. Click the Save Mitigation button toward the upper right-hand side of the page, and this will save the mitigation with your control and apply any mitigation percentages that have been added. This short guide has outlined the steps required to add controls to risk mitigations in Simple Risk. If anything was found to be unclear or requires more details, please contact us at support at simplerisk.com, and we will be happy to assist you.